one of the new young stars of the European art scene, Jakob Steiger, 32 years old. Like no other, he manages to combine classical artistic and modern digital techniques to alienate them and to develop them further. Jakob Steiger lives and works in Munich, the city of art, culture and vitality and of course one of the most beautiful cities in the world. Here at the famous Munich Academy of Arts, Jakob Steiger studied painting until 2017. Jakob Steiger is a very special artist. He started very early to combine different elements of art to create a new explosive work. You see one of his works right behind us, a light box. What you do is not what every artist does. You're bringing together many different realms of art and creating something entirely new. How did it come about and what exactly do you combine? I was first exposed to the classical approach to art through my studies of painting. But at the same time, I also had a strong focus on photography and also studied it. And besides photography and philosophy and art theory. Actually, my preferred way of working is that I really try to bring all these components together. And in my case, it is always a combination of a digital technique and an analog technique. That means you are bringing together the worlds that we are still struggling with in real life at the moment, but which are also evolving more and more into a digital life. You bring these two worlds together in your art and ultimately show us a reflection of what we are also experiencing in our world at the moment. Exactly, you put that quite beautifully, because art is not something that imitates our life or our world, but art also is not life, that is, that art is analogous to our life. That means I think that nowadays we live very much in a digital world in our everyday life and often don't really know where the digital ends and the analog begins. I think that these two levels are getting totally mixed up and that's why it makes absolute sense in art to work exactly the same way and to mix the digital and the analog in such a way that in the end you can't really say where one ends and the other begins genau analog dazu eben zu arbeiten und das Digitale mit dem Analogen so zu vermischen, dass man am Ende gar nicht mehr so genau sagen kann, wo das eine aufhört und das andere anfängt. In addition to art, Jakob Steiger has also studied philosophy. Thus, the artist's approach also contains references to literary and philosophical texts, which are artfully embedded in the works. In his works, text fragments from philosophical writings can be recognized again and again. Philosophers such as Franz Kafka, Walter Benjamin and Theodor Adorno influenced Jakob Steiger's work. Yes, well, I discovered the area of art theory for myself very strongly in philosophy. I try to work in such a way that I look at texts as source material. For me, a text is also something like a paint that I can smear on the canvas. So I smear with texts in the same way. And it's like that every viewer who looks at a picture always already puts the text into this picture. That is, everyone, when they look at art or pictures, always write a text into this picture. 
And that means we always have these two levels of image and text that are genuinely present. And what I merely try to do is to make these two levels really visible. That means that you really see, aha, uh -huh, different levels of image are overlapping here, but also different levels of text. And this visibility, however, always plays on the fact that we can't necessarily read this text that is now inscribed in the image. So that means that the illegibility of the text is part of the work in order to make what is essential to art resonate a bit more. The professors at the Academy of Arts discovered Jakob Steiger's interest in philosophy and his extraordinary talent early on. So, about Jakob Steiger, he was one of the most noticeable, interested, curious, open students in the academy, so to speak. He was also actively involved there. And we spent quite a few evenings together with Camille and Kafka and other questions back then. Basically, the core of the Open Salon program was the photography class. That also took place in the photography class, in the studio of the photography class. Very few students from the art education classes went there now, or even to the philosophy seminars. He was not under any obligation to be there, but he was immediately in the first semester in the philosophy seminar and came to the Open Salon. That was an open course of study, across the academy, across topics, but also across art forms and across media. So again, it was an additional offer. But he took everything that was there and had a very early sense of where something was at stake. That's impressive for someone who started their first semester, and we have to say that he never let up in this sense. The theme of light, especially in the form of light boxes, plays a major role in the works of Jakob Steiger. So here, for example, we see a light box by Jakob Steiger. What meaning does light have for you? Why do you use it? Exactly, so the light is, of course, in the sense of the light box again, the repetition of the display that we know from the computer screen, but also from the cell phone screen and from screens in general. What I am saying is that we always have a plane, a surface, which is permeated with light from behind and therefore shines and glows by itself. The light box itself is a repetition of this display idea and has its surface, a photo print that is mounted on acrylic glass and then illuminated by LEDs from behind. No photo without painting, no painting without photography. In his light boxes, Steiger brings painting into photography, thereby adding an artistic technique to the boxes coined by Jeff Wall. The best way to explain my working method is that I actually always start from a drawing or painting and create a base surface from which I continue to work. I photograph this painting and then work with it digitally. It's like I can then add certain things. I can change ideas, I can take something away, I can change colors, I can double lines, for example. Everything is done in the digital and at the very end of this process the original painting is erased from this file and what remains are only the changes. And these changes I will then print back on my painting using digital printing processes. Some time ago, Jakob Steiger takes on a new challenge – live performance. Here he has to create a new work in front of an audience in a relatively short time. Can you briefly describe again how was the experience? It was the first time that you had to create art in such a short time, so in a few hours. I think we had estimated six hours approximately from the zero point of the work to the completion. 
And so you first said, well, how is that going to work? But then it went wonderfully. It was a very exciting experience, at least for the viewers. How was it for you? Was that one more level that was eventually added, this vivid live experience? Well, of course it was exciting, because of this Bavarian Business Day. This challenge to do a work for the first time that you don't do in your own studio, isolated from the outside world. In my studio there is no one watching normally. That was a real challenge. But then I planned this work, which was created there, very precisely. Well. What happens on the canvas may look very spontaneous at the end of the day, but in fact almost every stroke was planned beforehand. And I have already drawn and sketched and painted everything in small models. And then it was basically true that I really managed to implement it as I had roughly imagined it in the shortest time possible. Exactly. Well, it was definitely an exciting experience. And it showed that it is actually possible to complete a painting in such a short time. And I'm quite happy with the result, actually. It has shown that it can be done in so short a time to make a build. And I'm actually very happy with the result. The fact that art finds its place everywhere also becomes evident by the latest exhibition of Jakob Steiger's paintings. It is currently on display in the rooms of the Bavarian Economic Advisory Council in Munich. We are very pleased that we can now complement this dialogue between business and politics with a dialogue with art. The Bavarian Economic Advisory Council is committed to promoting dialogue and exchange between business and politics in Bavaria, Germany and around the world. We provide information, we promote exchange about art and we are also now pleased to have art here. Our entire office is currently exhibition space for the works of Jakob Steiger. I'm fascinated. Every time I go to my office alone or when I come here for meetings, I'm delighted by the pictures. They inspire me. They motivate me. I see that each work is different every day and that new ideas are associated with it. So let me take you with me today. Walk with me through our space here. Allow yourself to be inspired by Jakob Steiger, a young artist who has developed new techniques and who is also very much philosophically inspired. All I can say is that it's worth a short trip. Come and join us at the Bavarian Economic Advisory Council. We have selected different works for the exhibition at the Economic Advisory Council. There are mainly canvas works on display, on which collage technique was used, where photo print on foil or photo print on canvas was mounted again on canvas and put over the painting. There are a few smaller works on paper on display, featuring the connection between painting and printing technique once again. And then there are three light boxes on display, which have been technically crafted in such a way that it's also about the connection between painting and photography. At the end of the work process, however, there is a digital file that is then printed and then illuminated again with LED lighting from behind. Light, text elements, explosive colors. Jakob Steiger's art leads into a world in which different realities come together and unite to form a new world, a new beginning of things. Many art collectors have long discovered the young extraordinary artist. We are in the home of Ludwig Zanker. Ludwig Zanker has acquired this work by Jakob Steiger today. And yes, the first thing I would say is, let there be light. Okay, so I'll turn it on. 
This is a light box by Jakob Steiger. We've already talked to Jakob today about his light boxes. What attracted you to this young artist so much that you say, that's my kind of work, I want to have that? I've known Jakob for a while too, and of course I've been able to follow his career a bit. It's also not the first work by him that I bought, but it is my first light box. I was fascinated by the painting because three things are essential. It is simply a classic work that he has reinterpreted, so to speak, and then enhanced it with a completely new element, the light box. And that's why all of us, my mother, my father and I, decided to purchase these works. There are three originals of this work, and the Zanker family has bought all three of them, and they are now going to the individual family parts. This one will stay here, stays with me exactly. And one is with your parents, I believe. That's the plan, and the third, well, we'll see. So Jakob Steiger will soon be on display here next to some very honorable works. Would you like to tell me a little bit about your collection? Years ago, I was lucky enough to buy a Banksy piece at an auction. I also have other young artists always with their own unique story or with an expression which allow you to see clear messages. Jakob Steiger is one of them, and that's why I decided to buy this new light box from Jakob. So you're saying that the clear message is your main concern. You can see it here, of course, you can see it with Banksy, with his no very clearly too. Could you also tell us something about that work back there? Yes, this is a work by Leon Lohentraut, a very well-known young German artist who painted the work A Different Mind. This vase has two sides, so to speak, one on the left, one on the right, two different personalities. It's a print of his work from 2018. Yes, I also find it fascinating how gaudy, how beautifully the lines are drawn. And as I said, he has always... In each picture, it's actually clear to see what he's trying to express. Every evening when I'm sitting in front of it, I am delighted how beautifully colorful it is, and I can always discover something new. And that is much the same with Jakob. Every time you look at one of his pictures, you will find something new that you like. And it's not the first work by Jakob? No, it actually isn't. I have further back here. You bought this from a London gallery online, yes? What appealed to you there? I believe that this was the main work in his home series. It's not hard to recognize. I was intrigued by his brute black, the lines, then again, how he just merges several things together. These print media, this digital print, and then nevertheless also the structure and the paint texture and all that simply linked in the picture actually pleased me so much in the series that I also wanted to have the main work there at that time. Another picture from the series hangs in another room. I just like the colors. I like the green, the black very much. Very dreary, the picture, but still with a clear message. Und ähm, ja, ich fand einfach die Farben gut. Mir gefällt das Grün, das Schwarz einfach sehr gut. Das ist ein sehr tristes Bild, äh, aber, aber trotzdem äh, mit einer klaren Message. The blend of the abundance of the created and the emptiness of the paper leaves room for interpretation for the viewer. Is it something heavenly or something earthly that resonates here? Jakob Steiger lets us participate in the journey into secret, forward-looking worlds. Why all this? Why not end? Why not this being in the world, abandoned to the naked existence? Why this struggle? Why this struggle for expression in word and image? Sissus Lee because it has to be, because there is no other way. He who has not lost his hands of wonder must think, must pursue a matter and cast it into a form in a creative intoxication. Otherwise, he will be lost. As Pina Bausch aptly puts it, dance, dance, otherwise you are lost. 
Jakob's dance floor is the canvas. Here he invites you to the pas de deux. Dance along. You're welcome. Even though Jakob Steiger has already painted countless pictures, even though he's one of the most talented and extraordinary young artists in Europe, it seems as if his dance with the canvas has only just begun. We will still hear and especially see a lot from the young man from Munich. <laughs> 